Hello viewers, I welcome you all to this channel, the email letters channel. Um, today we are looking at a popular man of God who came on publicly to um, tell everybody that uh, Nigeria as a country has died just like some other countries he mentioned. Okay, um, we are going to play you this video to watch, but before we do that, please, if you are yet to subscribe to our channel, please kindly scroll down a bit and click on the red subscribe button and also click on the um, bell beside to get notifications whenever we drop any videos okay um, if you do that may God bless you now the video of this man comes shortly but before we do that I am um, the comment box and we need you to comment and tell us what you feel about this um, um, assertion made by this man of God um, I know some people will buy the idea why some will definitely not buy the idea okay just please we urge you to watch this video till the end now the video comes shortly there are many nations in the world that have died and buried naturally like a mother man for example Abyssinia was dead but now it's called Ethiopia Ethiopia was formerly Abyssinia there was no more Abyssinia what of Bostoland it is now called Lesotho Bosloand has died. What of Buma, now called Meama, USSR or Soviet Union, was dead, is now called Russia and many other countries. Yugoslavia was no more, died and buried. It has about six countries now and many more countries have had disappeared and some have re-emerged with other names unfortunately nigeria my beloved country we soon joined the club of the death of nations I did not know that a country like Nigeria can die like an individual until God showed me in a dream. To be specific, September 28, 2020, I saw Nigeria in a coffin. It was dead and buried. The dream was so real and I started weeping when I woke up. I mourned the death of Nigeria for a good one week. This is my second time of relating this experience. I have made a video regarding this in a parable way. But God want me to be specific this time. He want me to re-say it specifically what I saw. The question is, why am I crying for Nigeria demise? And why am I mourning the death of Nigeria for one week? As if I lost my own father. First of all, I'm a very proud Nigerian. I still remember October 1st, 1960, when Nigeria got her independence. I still remember the type of food and how colorful the ceremony was with all the souvenirs and the, fly, and the flags and the music. And that was the first day of my schooling of primary school, 1960. I still remember vividly 
how beautiful, how colorful that was. Secondly, in 1980, I remember I bought my first car to Utah Corolla for 3,075 cents at Briscoe Motors, Eric Mon, Lagos, Nigeria. After that, I left Nigeria in the 80s for America. So Nigeria, so to say, was still in paradise by the time I left Nigeria. I still have that good memories. That's why the thinking of breaking Nigeria or Nigeria death is a fantasy, is something that I never imagined. And if people say that, that in Nigeria we break up one day, if we disappear, I will fight them. Because that time, life was so good. That was why I loved Nigeria so much, and I wept, wept bitterly for our demise. Many Nigerians are proud Nigerians like me. Yes, the people that have good memories of when Nigeria was a pride of Africa and those politicians and captains of industries and church leaders who have managed to capture the resources of Nigeria would not believe that Nigeria can go under or die like a, mat like a mother being. Yes. To such ones, I offer my condolences. To all the lovers of Nigeria, I offered my condolences. Among the demands of Nigeria, in a real life, for one good week, as if I lost my relative. I used to be a fanatical believer in one Nigeria until God opened my eyes in a dream. The Bible says young men will see vision, but old men will dream dreams. I, however, everything changed. When God showed me that Nigeria you lost so much, is dead and is buried. God has removed Nigeria from his map. There is no more Nigeria in the map of God. I realize that there are many people who love Nigeria like me. But I'm sorry for your loss. Nigeria was dead. I'm buried.